Hi. It is so nice to be with you again today. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is about reducing overwhelm. So many of us are feeling as if we've taken on too much, we're feeling overwhelmed, we're feeling stressed. And it can be quite a challenge to reverse that, to calm the nervous system, to bring ourselves back into balance. You know, we can have difficult situations going on in our lives, stressful things, difficult things. We can be just struggling and having all kinds of painful beliefs and thoughts about ourselves and our lives that can get in the way and... Um, Mm, really affect our experience because that's what happens with our beliefs. Our beliefs create our reality. So, interestingly, a few weeks ago, I was in meditation. I, you know, I had some tough stuff going on in my life. I don't even remember what it was. It's not really consequential, but I had some stuff going on. And what came to me in my meditation was <laughs> like an invitation to put. It was a, it was a, it was actually a person that I was having this particular issue with, a friend, and I was kind of feeling. I don't know. I was just sort of feeling a bit pressured. I was feeling like I should respond to stuff, and I didn't really want to. I didn't feel ready. Anyway, there was a lot of stuff flying around, and what came was this idea of putting the person into a container, a box in this situation, but it was. Instead of it just being like a prison or a cell or a, you know, it was, it was beautiful. It had lovely sofas in it and it was comfortable and it was lovely. So it wasn't a matter of banishing somebody, but putting them into this container and then closing it <laughs> and, and then this takes me back to my NLP days because I'm a trainer of NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, if you're not sure what NLP is where using modalities you can then i was just say to the universe move this out move this out and away from me from my energy field wherever it most needs to go which is what we would do in nlp if something was bothering you turn it instead of it was color you turn it to black and white and you would send it out and away like up to the moon and you would notice you feel a lot lighter and so what came up in my meditation was just allowing this same thing to happen this person goes into the box my friend goes into the box and then my saying to the universe send this out away from me to the perfect place where it needs to be so it traveled out quite a long way actually out to my right and a long way out in front of me and and then it was taking a moment to do a clearing of cords from inside of me from me to them, from them to me, and putting them all in the box to just be handed up to the divine. And so, and so then there was an invitation to be saying to the divine, here you go, this is for your resolution. The important thing here, though, is to say this situation, this friendship, not my, take away the my, and, and just have it be this, this friendship, whatever, I asking for your resolution please dear divine beloved i'm handing this to you for the best resolution outcome for everybody concerned so you've done a whole clearing of the cords it's gone into the box and it's and it's over there it feels so good when we do that if you've got a number of things going on you can do it with all sorts of different things it's and what came to me is it's a wonderful way of compartmentalizing. I sort of struggle a bit with compartmentalizing. Everything tends to be in, it all gets merged together and weaves together and it gets a bit tangled. And so I find in, in, in taking this approach, it kind of separates things out a bit and it just gives me a lot more space, a lot more space, just like, ah, be creative again and allow new inspiration in and creating space for new experiences and new friends to come into our lives. So what I thought I would do is stroll you through that in a really short little uh, meditation, guided meditation, so that I'm going to walk you through it because it's a much shorter video today. And then, and then so that you can experience it. So if you're ready, just closing your eyes, taking some deep breaths, breathing in through your nose for a count of four, 
and out through your mouth for a count of eight. I'm just doing a few repetitions of that. Slowing everything down. Breathing out any worry, any stress, any overwhelm that is ready to leave. Breathing in spaciousness, breathing in calm. Breathing out any tension, any worry, any anxiety, whatever else wants to leave. Kind of shake off your day. Shake off your day. Maybe you gently want to shake your arms, your hands or your legs. Ooh, letting it all go. That's right. That's right. And then bringing to mind a situation, maybe it's a friendship or I had in Self Love Sanctuary in my online group, there's somebody mentioned there was an issue with a training course they were taking that was causing them trouble. You know, so it can be a situation, it can be one person, it can be a group. Somebody else within Self Love Sanctuary was saying they put their siblings into a box, some issues they're having with their family, and they can all go into a box together. So take a moment just to see what comes into your mind that's been kind of crowding you, making you feel a bit overwhelmed. Maybe you're struggling to come up with a solution for something. And maybe something just keeps coming round and round and round and it just won't go away. Whatever that is, whatever is putting some pressure on you or you feel like it is. Hmm. Now you can choose a container any container. Use your imagination. Let it just appear in your mind. Or maybe it's a vehicle of some kind. Again, someone in Self Love Sanctuary, I think it was a Barbie Beach bus that showed up, that she popped people into a situation into. Mm. Whatever comes to mind, go with it. Just be free with your imagination. And popping the situation, the person into that. And then asking, where does this need to be? So that it's outside of your energy field, so that you feel spacious. And let it move there. And it can be anywhere around you. It could be behind you, above you, in front of you. And however far away it needs to be for you to feel that release. For you to feel more relaxed. To give you some space so you have some clarity. You're doing a wonderful job. And then noticing if there are any cords around you at all that connecting you to this situation, this person, or from them to you. And just removing all of these cords. Removing them all. You don't even need to know where they all are. Just asking the divine to remove them all and placing them lovingly into this container or vehicle or whatever it is. And it's a closed one. Nobody can get out. The situation can't get out. They're very comfy in there. Super comfy and super lovely in there. They're perfectly happy. Putting all of these cords in there, these energetic cords. That have perhaps been keeping this thing stuck or preventing resolution in some way. Taking some deep breaths. Breathing in spaciousness. Breathing in peacefulness. Breathing out tension, breathing out overwhelm. <sighs> Noticing how the distance now between you, your energy field and this situation, this person that's at the perfect distance away from you. Feel the benefits of this compartmentalization. It may be in an instant. You can think of something else or somebody else to do the same thing. Maybe a different vehicle or a different container appears. There are plenty of breathing holes if it's a container. Hmm. Maybe it's a flying saucer. Hmm. Or an RV, whatever it is. Just asking for it to be moved away and then to where it's comfortable, cutting the cords, putting them inside, and then simply saying to the universe, I'm handing this situation, this relationship to you for resolution, for the highest outcome, for 
everybody concerned. Taking some deep breaths, letting it go. And then wriggling your fingers and your toes and coming fully back into the room. It is that quick and easy. And the more you practice this, you can use it when you're out and about. You can do it in the moment when someone's really getting to you. <laughs> you know, it just gives you, it creates this space. It helps you to take a pause and a moment to respond differently instead of reacting when you're triggered. You know, it helps you to break the patterns, the old, well-worn patterns. It creates new possibilities. And the divine is taking care of that situation or that relationship. Trust in that. Believe in divine timing. that Everything is being taken care of. Mm. So play around with that. I hope that helps. And what else did I have to say? Let me have a think. Oh, quick book update. Mm -hmm. I've been asking for testimonials recently and I now have one from Gongaji, my spiritual teacher. I am so honoured, truly honoured and so grateful that she has written some words for my book and that her name will be on my on my book, which will... And the most important thing about that is it's going to help it to reach more people who can benefit from it. And that's why I've written it. I've written this book to help other people like myself. <laughs> I have healed from a really difficult, painful childhood. That's been my journey over the last 18 years, the healing of that, and then learning modalities and working with other people to help them free themselves from their own history, from their past, from their troubles. And so, yeah, I'm so grateful to her for for playing her role in helping this book to get into the hands of more people who, who who will be able to benefit from it. Yeah, so there's that. And I'm now working on the front cover, which I'm very excited about, being an artist, that I now have some idea of what that front cover is going to look like. And had a chat with the graphic designer today, just kicked that process off, super happy about that. And um, hmm, my book is with the editor. That is the last piece of news. So yeah, she, Debbie, is busy reading it now and we'll be working on that in August together as I make all of the changes. Mm. And final bit of news, Self Love Sanctuary, which is what I was talking about earlier, is this fabulous online gathering. I am absolutely loving it. I really am. And if there's even a teeny tiny bit inside of you that's curious or wants to find out, you know, wants to find out what that's about, or you're just looking to really connect with yourself on a deep level, reduce your overwhelm, reduce those stressful feelings and thoughts, then come along, come check it out. It's really brilliant value. I promise you some amazing things are happening in those gatherings. They take place once a month, usually the first month, Thursday, I'm sorry, of every month, but in August, it's going to be the second. Um, yeah, it's going to be on the 8th, the 8th of August, 7 to 8.30 p.m. And if you enjoy this video, please like it. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you get on with the little tool I share today. I always like to hear that and I love to respond to you. And yeah, if this is, yeah, if you're enjoying these offerings, please go on my website, www.rachellinette.com. R-A-C-H-E-L-L-I-N-N-E-T-T, -T. two L's, two N's, two T's, dot com. Go on there and sign up to my contact list and then you'll find out about all my latest offerings and you'll get up to date about my book and everything. So yeah, please share it with your friends too. Let's spread the word. I am on a mission to spread love and healing, to help people to free themselves free themselves from the troubled past or just the painful same old thoughts that they keep getting stuck in. So thank you for watching. It was a pleasure as always, and I'm already looking forward to the next time that we meet. Take care. Goodbye.